um go for it you know this is like the best thing that i have done for myself and i am completely happy with my choice you know um so do what you gotta do for you at the end of the day ain't nobody else is gonna be living with your fat but yeah hey you guys it's your girl simone and welcome back to my channel so today 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 i am here to give you guys my four month post op update as you all already know i'm always late when it comes to updates because i'm never on time when it comes to uploading on youtube but in real life i am i got my life together but youtube i'm always like i don't want to record a video first of all i would just want to say happy new year you guys happy 2020 happy new decades all that good stuff it's a new year no new year new me none of that just new year new goals i want to apologize now for the background noise for those who don't know i do live in new york city so you're gonna hear it all <laughs> so um I want to start off with my stats so the first time i went to go see my surgeon was may 28th and i weighed in at 321 pounds 321.7 my surgery date was august 21st which is also my mother's birthday and i weighed in at 291 so i lost basically like 31 Point seven pounds before surgery if my math is correct um and my current weight as of december 18th i want to say did i weigh myself since then i don't think i weighed myself since then but since december 18th i'm gonna just say december 18th um i was 244 even yeah 244 no i was 244.4 on the 18th and 244 even on the 21st so, so the first thing I want to talk about is me finally getting my period, you guys. Um, I always have dealt with irregular cycles since forever, you know what I mean? And I think that my weight just played a major part in that. Um, so, the last time I had my cycle was September. I had it twice in September. I mentioned this in my other video. I had it twice in September, you guys, and I had it really, really bad. It lasted seven days each, and it was heavy as hell with crazy ass cramps you guys and i don't get cramps and my cycle is never heavy it's irregular but it's never heavy it only lasts three to four days light light to medium but no heaviness no blood clots none of that but i have blood clots in september y'all so you know my body was just adjusting to the i guess life after surgery you know what i mean hormones going crazy all that stuff so i had my period on it came on the 23rd you guys before christmas and it put me in a bad 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 mood you guys like i was so freaking moody like and i'm never moody when i have my cycle i was so freaking moody it only lasted four days total um it was medium light to medium four days total so like my normal I should say but it came with minor cramps no blood clots this time so I'm kind of happy about that I didn't know I was getting my period but I should have known I was getting my period because that set that Saturday before the Monday of the 23rd that Saturday so it was like the 20 the 19th the 20th I was lightheaded from that day to when I got my cycle well to when my cycle ended you guys I was so lightheaded and I was like, why am I lightheaded? I said, you know, I'm gonna go to the doctor, this thing keeps up. Like, you know, I said, like, I'm lightheaded, lightheaded, but it was like minor, but I was still lightheaded. Like, you know when you lightheaded, you guys, you know. Um, just felt lightheaded. I'm like, what the hell is going on with me? I know I'm eating my, my foods and I know I'm, I'm taking all my vitamins. Like, what's going on? I'm thinking maybe my blood pressure is low. Maybe I don't have enough salt in my body, things like that. I'm just thinking things like that. So. I didn't know it was going to be my period coming because that never happened before but life after VSG you just never know when it comes to things so yeah came on the 23rd put me in a bad mood and I was still lightheaded throughout my whole cycle um it wasn't bad like I said it wasn't bad like to the point that I'm like fainting and about to drop down to get my eagle on no it's like like you get up too fast you be like whoa like that but that's how I felt from that Saturday all the way to the Friday last Friday basically um so 
I didn't even take my iron pills. Matter of fact, the second day of my cycle, I took my iron pills, but I should have known, you know, I don't know, but yeah. So I took my iron pills and I felt much better after taking my iron pills. So I was like, okay, cool. Cause my mom, she put me on to that. She was like, girl, when you have your period, take your iron pills and stuff like that. So that's what I did and that's what I started to do. But I forgot, I slipped my mom because my last period was in September. So it slipped my mom completely. So enough about that. So I'm kind of glad that it came, but ain't no telling when's the next time it's gonna happen. <laughs> So the next thing I want to mention is acid reflux. So I think that it's starting to happen for me because some days when I wake up in the morning, it feel like my stomach is filled of acid. Like, like I eat something and then it feel like acid is just sitting in my stomach. I don't get that burning sensation in the back of my throat. I don't get that. I don't warm it up, acid, none of that. But it's just like after I eat, but this was especially during my cycle, like after I ate, it's like my stomach was like uh like girl why you ate that but it was like more so like acid wise versus like oh my stomach disagreed because i was still eating the same thing that my stomach my my tummy loves now you know what i mean so um that was weird to me i feel fine now because it comes and goes whenever it comes to when it, whatever want to come and go so they gave me some anti-acid description like after my surgery i'm probably saying it wrong but they prescribed me with some something to help reduce or prevent the acid reflux so i still have them so i've been taking them before my meals and everything sometimes i be slacking a lot so yeah that's another thing i wanted to mention and what else i have my phone right here meatless mondays you guys so starting on the 13th your girl is going um to have one day out of the whole week where i will not have any type of meat products animal products i'm not sure if i'm really like going too hard about eggs because i love my eggs in the morning but i think i might just be like vegan for that day you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> um so i am slowly trying to work my way up to two to three days out of the whole week i'm trying to get to that point by the beginning of March. So hopefully be in between now and February, I will be able to work my way up to two to three days a week. I am not trying to go full blown vegan, um, but I just like low key want to break from meat and stuff like that sometimes. Um, so I am super excited about that. So that's one change I am making towards my diet. So I'm gonna be getting my protein and stuff elsewhere from like, you know, beans and tofu or whatever else, all that stuff. Um, I am still going to have my protein shakes because why not? That's just easy protein right there. Um, and yeah, you guys, uh, I think that's really the main things I really wanted to talk about. So you all know my current weight, which is 244. Um, so I am down like 77 pounds or so. I don't know. Um, and I'm just so happy to be able to leave all that weight and inches because i lose more inches of course you lose more inches in weight but my inches been coming off way faster than my pounds so gotta celebrate the small victories as well y'all but um i'm just so excited that i am basically down almost 80 pounds and i feel so good i feel more confident in myself and i didn't even think i was lacking that type of confidence no lie you guys like but it's like once you slowly start making changes in your life that's when you start to realize the things that you did lack and didn't know that you lacked so i'm just so happy that it's a new year i can have like a fresh start on the things that i want to do and i want to fully enjoy my life you know i felt so limited to the things that i was able to do when i was 321 pounds you guys you know what i mean you being heavy child bye <laughs> you know so i'm excited to just go explore like just go live it up how i used to live it up like i used to love going to six flags like especially when i was in high school I used to take trips to six flags with my school or, or my after school program with my best friends and stuff like that it was always so much fun getting on these rides and 321 pounds i don't think i would have been able to even fit in a damn seat you know what i mean <laughs> at six flags so hopefully this summer i could just meet up with my girls if they up to it we could sit and go to six flags and just do it how we used to do it back in high school you know what i mean so yeah i'm just so excited of my progress so far even though it's slow i really cannot complain too much i am blessed to still be here you guys i am blessed to live another day not too many people make it to 2020 not too many people made it to the second day of 2020 you know what i mean so 
I gotta live my life. You know what I mean? I can't live with regrets. The only regret that I really can say I had, the only, only regret I can really say I had was not getting a surgery much sooner. That's my only regret, you guys. Um, so for those who are out there who is new to my channel, who is a old time supporter, if you are considering to have um, weight loss surgery, go for it. You know what I mean? You only live once, you know? It doesn't matter what anybody has to say. It's your body, it's your life. It's not the easy way out. Of course, people are gonna be pumping at you. Oh, you taking the easy way out. Bitch, bye, girl, bye, whoever, bye. Or bye 2020, period, you feel me? So, <laughs> but not seriously though. Um, go for it you know this is like the best thing that i have done for myself and i am completely happy with my choice you know um so do what you gotta do for you at the end of the day ain't nobody else is gonna be living with your fat but you you know so if you want to do weight loss surgery go for it if you want to do it the natural way and just lose weight diet exercise it go for it at the end of the day we all striving for the same as that goal for us to be healthy and happy and live as long as we can you know what i mean some people want to have kids all that good stuff we all all striving for the same as that goals it does not matter the type of path that you decide to take and don't let nobody make you feel bad about your choices that you do in life you know what i mean so go for it um that's just how I'm going to be living my life from now on. Whatever I want to do, whatever I feel like I wanted to do when I was younger that I ain't get the chance to do now. Well, that I didn't get the chance to do before. I'm doing it now. You know what I mean? Um, I'm so excited for this year. I want to try to be more consistent on YouTube, you guys. You probably heard this 20 times, but I'm really aiming to be more consistent. Um, I got a few things lined up that I do want to share with you guys. Especially my cooking videos, um, my recipe videos, or whatever the case may be. Whatever you want to call it. Be sure to always follow me on Instagram. Because when I be coming out with the latest recipe that I tried out, or whatever the case may be. Or things that I create by myself. Because usually a lot of my recipes be things that I came up with by myself. I always post it to my Instagram story. Um, I post it on my account and i also added to my vsg highlights um food highlights or whatever so always be on the lookout to, for new content coming from me especially this year i wanted to try new things and um especially with this whole meatless mondays and stuff like that i just want to try new recipes and even come up with my own things so i can share with you guys for those who may want to try it out so 2020 y'all it's just our year i'm wishing nothing but the best for every single one of you guys who is watching this video and yes y'all let's just do it big let's live life with no regrets we it's too much going on in this world to to feel trapped you know what i mean so your girl finna be snatched and attached or summer 2020 like i'm coming for that gold you feel me and that's period period <laughs> So until then you guys, huh, I can't even think of what will be my next video. I am planning on doing what I eat in a day video. Um, I might drop like a few of my recipes on here. Uh, show you guys how I make it, whatever the case may be. Or you can just check my Instagram story. But you know, YouTube is YouTube. Why not put it, out, put it on here too? It's content, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm just so super excited. And I just want to thank you all for supporting me on my journey from the beginning, especially those who've been here for the beginning. And if you are new still, thank you for joining me. Um, road to 10K, you guys, almost at 10K subscribers, supporters, whatever you want to call them. You know, I call y'all my supporters. That's just how it is, you know. And I'm on the road to like 3K followers on Instagram. So follow me at curlygirl underscore gets fit. And until then, I catch y'all on the flip side. Bye.